Now customers have been telling us that sometimes when unloading components from a nest, the operators find it difficult to identify the individual parts. So with this in mind, what we've done in this release of software is added an enhancement to the nester, whereby parts can be differentiated by use of color. Now this really does make identifying different components much easier. So why don't I just show you how this works. Okay, so you'll see on screen I've opened up a nest project. I'm just going to bring up the parts window. And as you can see, against each of my parts, I've now got a little square of colour. Now this identifies the part within the nest. So individual parts are given different colours. Now the way that this works is that if a part is of a similar shape, so let's just zoom in on here. So if, it's a, if a part is of a similar shape but is a different part, then the colours will be totally different. This identifies this as two different parts. If the parts are totally different in shape, then the colours may be similar because it's quite easy to identify these parts by their shape. Now, as you can see on screen, it makes it much easier to identify different components. But we can use this colour to go further. For example, we can display the colours in different ways. So you can see here in my um, pull up, I've got color by. At the moment, I'm coloring by part. So why don't I go to say color by priority? So you can see straight away that all the colors have changed, but these two groups of parts have a different color. Now that tells me that they have a higher priority than the remaining parts. Equally, we can use it to color by orientation and again straight away you'll see that I've got a, a range of different colors but the colors that are in pale blue on my screen those components have a restricted nesting orientation whereas the other components are allowed to free rotate so hopefully you'll agree that by coloring the components it makes it much easier to identify them now the colors can be controlled. There is two pieces of system data which will allow the user to adjust the colors. So let me show you how that looks. You'll now see on screen that same nest, but the colors are subtly different. And by using the system data, I'm able to adjust the intensity of the color to suit my requirements. Now, if I go into the setup sheet for this nest, you'll see that the, the components are hatched. And if I scroll down here, you'll see that each component has a different color. So even on the setup sheet, we can use the color to differ differentiate between the components.